Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today is what sold on eBay from June 8th to the 14th. Had a ton of plush sold uh, this week, so this is going to be a plush heavy episode, probably closer to three quarters or at least two thirds of plush. Uh, still some collectibles and other things in the front, but it's going to be a lot, it's going to be a heavy video on plush. The, the last five uh, plush I sold uh, went for over $35 and even one went for a hundred over $100. So uh, you'll have to wait till the end to see those or just cheat and skip to the end, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to bring back this little bird. Uh, he was in my haul video. Uh, you can see his, his, his Crayola on him. He was in my haul, my last haul video, and I wanted to bring him back. He's a really cool bird. Has a little, like, M, I believe that is. Yeah, M on the shoulder. I'm thinking probably going to get 50 maybe $60 for him. He's really interesting. I don't know. I, I haven't checked the comps yet. Hopefully, um, I'm right on the money, about 50 or 60 Let's get right into the sales. Stop fiddle farting around. <laughs> Let's get right into it. All right. All right. So, you, as you can see, they changed. This is a sales report. They changed it from last week. So, this is a little bit different than uh, what I've been used to. But from June 8th to the 14th, my sales were $2,743.08, which is down from last week about 9.2%. So, not too terrible um they actually do it a little bit different now they actually uh try to calculate your selling costs and government fees and stuff i don't know how accurate that is i have not checked it since i just turned on the computer and i'm like oh this is different so if you want to go into it it's under sales report you can see right here sales traffic they they changed them both so if you want to go into it feel free to play around with it too Alright, uh, for the last 31 days I am down 27.8%, so the summer slowdown's coming on me and hitting with me, <laughs> hitting me in the head. <laughs> but still, compared to the same period a year ago, I am up 71.4%, so that's, that's still great compared to last year. Alright, let's get into what I sold. Sold a bunch of these. These started flying out the door all of a sudden. I guess people needed bottle cap openers. Uh, these are the Fallout Nuka Cola. Got those at the mystery boxes that I shared with you in one of my older videos. All 12 of them sold for $8.99. Well, some of them sold for $10. So, but yeah, still for a little bottle cap opener, I'll, I'll take $8.99. Man, if I could speak. <laughs> All right. Uh, Funko Pop sold. This is uh, Iron Giant Ready uh, Player One. The box was damaged. It had a dent on the top. So I couldn't get as much as I wanted. I do have another one that has a dent on the back. So uh, I got these from GameStop. Super great sale. I believe I paid like three bucks for them. Something like that. But yeah, they are dented. So boo GameStop on shipping. <laughs> uh, this is the original dash, dash cam. Had these for a while. Don't believe I remember what I paid for them. I believe I paid five dollars i don't remember it's been a long time my nephew sold these to me i believe and they sold for 22.49 seven sold already i still have three left pokemon glassware this is a pikachu evolutions charmander squirtle and bulbasaur uh someone bought uh two packs of these I gave them a discount i took off uh 10 bucks it was I sold them for two for 40 the other one sold at full price but yeah getting rid of these I'm glad to see them go I don't like having glass uh, around the house never know what's gonna happen with an earthquake or just something drops on them or so I'm happy to ship them out just hope they get there safely and I won't have to deal with them anymore uh, these Magnavox uh, blank media had these for a long time got these at the goodwill bins probably a year and a half ago uh, was hoping it sold sell earlier but finally uh two people back to back within the same week bought them 17.99 and shipped them out 
Glad to see those go. They were super dusty. <laughs> uh, Star Trek gold key cover. These are metal signs. Got these from Hobby Lobby in a super, super duper clearance. It was really ridiculous. I believe they were marked like $1.90. And then it was even more percentage off of that. Like 50% or even more off of that. It was a crazy sale. So basically got them for nothing. And the two... Uh, three packs sold for twenty six ninety nine each. All right, this is a uh, Stranger Things Barb. Not too familiar with the show. Started watching like two episodes and wasn't really into it. It was kind of slow for me. Maybe I should try again because people say it's a good show. Anyways, I got these off of uh, GameStop for I believe I paid three dollars a piece for them, and one sold for thirteen forty nine. I still have one left ton of pop sockets uh, sold for me I'm not gonna go through all of them but I believe I sold 15 this week alone and this one sold for 1709 I have a bunch of different kinds but like I said I don't need to go through all of them they sold about the same price all right this is a Batman automobilia Batmobile Batman Odyssey number one Eagle Moss that's a mouthful <laughs> Anyways, it's just a cool little like Batman Hot Wheel type car. Very well detailed. You can see it, it even has like a backdrop. All those. This one sold for $21.59. I have another one of those sold. It's a different kind. This one's uh, from Detective Comics $5.91. This one sold for $17.99. I had two of those. Uh, this is a loot crate. This one was severely damaged. I still lifted it for $50. Hopefully someone was giving me an offer and they paid uh, the full price of $45, which was great. You can see here, I'll show you the damage. Yeah, see, you can see the box was just trashed. Loot crate just threw it in a, a container with uh, some glass. Uh, it was a glass, uh, I think it was a mug, and it just moved in the box and just smashed the snot out of it. But anyway, I still got $45 for it, even with, even though it was smashed. Uh, this Detroit Lions hat, I got this guy from the Goodwill bins. It was just laying on top. I don't usually pick up hats and stuff like that, but it had the tags. You can see it has the tags. It has the NFL logo. I mean, it was basically brand new. So I had to pick it up for a weight, which was, what, maybe a quarter. Got fifteen twenty nine for it. All right, on to the plush. Like I said, we have a lot of plush to go through. Uh, this is a Disney Princess Cinderella doll. I just put this uh, girl up this week. Sold right away. I still have another one. I had two in the same bag. I didn't notice. I should have uh, put a quantity of two. Anyway, she sold for full price of $14.99. She even sold before I put the sale back on. Uh, these Minnie Mouse and Mickey's are just flying out the door. I already sold 11 of them. Got them uh, off of uh, Kohl's. I believe I wound up paying like $1.50 after, after everything was done. Um, and sold the set for $17.99, so pretty decent profit. Uh, the Sock Monkeys, Sock Monkeys have started selling again. Um, they weren't selling for a little while, but they started picking up again. You're not going to get a ton of money off uh, these little tiny Sock Monkeys. Well, anyways, I uh, still made uh, ten seventy nine dollars out of this. Uh, this is Tiana from the Frog Princess Disney. Uh, again, I just put her on this week. She sold super fast. Maybe I sold her too low. Anyways, uh, she sold for $17.99. Spike the Dragon from My Little Pony. He's a cute little purple dragon. <laughs> Green. Uh, not that tall. Uh, what does it say? I'll show the height. Uh, he's about 10 inches tall, so he's not that big. But he sold for $13.49. Uh, Los Angeles Lakers NBA Rally Monkey. Been holding on to this guy for a while. 
was not going to let him go for cheap. Nobody, uh, if someone offered me like $20, I probably would have taken it. But someone came around after a million lowball offers of like 10 bucks. Someone finally came around and paid the full twenty-one fifty-nine for it. This is a little circle love in nature owl she something <laughs> uh, owl shaped pink pillow. Uh, nothing special about the owl. Just has like little f I don't even know what they call these things. F I don't I'm not gonna even say it. <laughs> Uh, but uh, Circo is a Target brand. Usually, usually owls, but they do have some other characters. But anyways, this one sold for fourteen ninety nine. Of course, I got them all. All these plus ninety nine percent of them came from the Goodwill bins. Uh, this is a big SpongeBob SquarePants uh, Patrick Star. This is a giant pillow. He sold for thirty five ninety nine. See. He had a little bit of fuzz on his pants. I had to remove with tape. Anyways, he's from Universal Studios. He, like I said, he sold for thirty-five ninety-nine. All right, this is a tiny little Harvest Moon. It's a Wonderful Life plush cow. I had two of these guys, and they took a while to sell. But then once they sold, both of them sold like right away. I'm like, what? <laughs> I had them up there for like a year and then all of a sudden both of them sold. Kind of crazy sometimes. Anyways, he sold for $26.99. Both of them did. This is a Mitzi Yorkshire Terrier. Um, I usually put realistic, but I guess I put lifelike this time. Long fur or hair. <laughs> Just trying to get in those words. Anyways, um, anytime you have a dog that looks realistic, because people are looking for, if they lose a pet or something, they're looking for something that reminds them of them. Um, so make sure you put in like realistic or lifelike and try to get the exact dog in there. It always helps. Anyway, she sold for $17.99. Uh, you need to go, if you follow my channel in the past, you know how I love these little Disney Club Penguins, always good for like a $10 bill. So this one I just stuck up and immediately sold for $8.99 with the 10% off. Love those little guys. <laughs> this is a Mione, another realistic cat. Uh, this one actually, someone contacted me and was like, Oh, I lost my cat. I'm, it looks exactly like that. I'm glad you had it. So I sent it off right away and sold for $12.59. These little Shopkin Kisses. This is a little belt clip. And this is a tiny one. So I threw them both together. Just like, what the heck? I don't know what else to do with them. They're not going to go for much separately. So throw them in a little lot. And they sold for $13.49. Squishmallow. Here's another tiny one. Didn't know what to do with. But surprisingly, it sold for almost $10. It's so tiny. You never expect these guys to really sell it all. Look at this. 3.5 inches. So, yeah, someone needed an owl keychain. And yeah, don't forget to live. Don't, don't pass these guys up. I mean, $10 is $10. Here's another one. It's just so tiny. Normally, you just throw these. Or a lot of people would just normally just throw these or donate them back. But, yeah, it's worth a good... I mean, it takes, what, five minutes to list this guy and you get $10 for five minutes? I'll take it all the time. Anytime. <laughs> this one, this one was broken. It's a ter Terraria Skeleton Skull Bones from Jazzware. Uh, only one light, one eye works, and it's it's constantly working. Every time you breathe on this guy, <laughs> it just turns on. He's a really cool plush. Yeah, but don't be afraid not to. Don't be afraid to not put these guys up. Or don't be afraid to put these guys up. Even though they're broken. Um, even though one eye doesn't work. It's in the title. It's in the description. Uh, they will sell. $22.49 for a broken toy. They will sell. Build-A-Bear. This is one I had on a little bear. I stripped him naked. Poor bear is naked now. <laughs> and... You can see it's just a little like fairy type dress. Not even that great. 
But it still sold for almost eleven dollars, ten seventy nine. This is Bolt, Bolt the puppy dog. Actually had him for a long time, and he fell off somehow. I don't know how, but as soon as I put him back on, he sold. I never know how sometimes they just fall off of eBay. Anyways, he sold for seventeen ninety nine. Uh, this is a Cleo Pinocchio's uh, goldfish. See, he sold for fifteen twenty nine. Got him, of course, uh, out of the Goodwill bin haul. Had a little mark on his tag, which of course I disclosed. See, it says mark on tag right there. And like I said, it sold for fifteen twenty nine. And I just listed him uh, like two weeks ago. Uh, this is a white whale with a flowered Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Crazy looking. <laughs> Funny looking whale. Uh, nothing special. Not even a great brand. Just big T toys. That's why I didn't even mark it up that high. Sold for eleven sixty nine. So I just took it. It's like eh. I didn't know what else to do with it. If it's not a well known brand or something. Uh, it's better just to take the lower amount. And just get rid of it. This is a musical Snoopy. The tree lights up. I wonder if I took a picture of the lights. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. No. I guess I couldn't get a good picture. I just did a close-up of him. Uh, he's from Hallmark. He sold for $17.99. He sang the Linus and Lucy song. Uh, this is a happy birthday bear. You're over the hill. What does it say? Once you're over the hill, you pick up speeds. <laughs> pick up speed. Okay. Uh, one of the Boyd's Bears. Uh, Boyd's Bears are hit and miss. Sometimes you can find some that'll sell for like 20 25 Another just eh, 15 bucks. This one sold for $13.49. Held on to it for about a year. Uh, glad to see it go. This one I actually made a mistake. I only had a quantity of one. And for some reason I put in a quantity of two. I made a mistake somehow. The person bought both of them and I had to apologize. I'm like... Sorry, I messed the quantity. I don't know what happened. I must have typed it in wrong. I sent him a refund for the first and I mailed out the second one. Now I gave him a little bit of a discount. I, I gave him, uh, gave it to him for $18 just because I made a mistake. But this is uh, one of the Toys R Us, one of the few Toys R Us toys remaining. <laughs> you can see, there it is. TM is a Toys R Us. Canada you can see there and like I said I gave it to him just for $18 because it was my mistake this is a Thai Beanie Baby sometimes they they do sell they still do sell guys don't be afraid to look up some of the Thai Beanie Babes even though if you look them up sometimes you'll see that people will just run them to the bottom I list them high I listed him at I think I started at $15 let me see yeah, I started them at $14.99 and sold them for $13.49. So don't be afraid to put up put them up pretty high and maybe take an offer or just run a sale like I did. This is a Ratchet and Clank uh, Stubbins. I had five of them. They all sold for $12.59. Got these at GameStop. One of the plush sales. I believe I paid $3 for these guys. Anyways, I'm happy to get $12.59 for them. Get him out of the house. Build a bear. This is one of the Hello Kitties that you actually push his paw and it meows. The ribbon comes off too. It's uh, removable. Almost everything from Build a Bear you can remove from the little uh, bears or whatever the kitty. <laughs> anyway, she sold for seventeen oh nine. This is a Lindsay plush blue musical giraffe. You pull a string on his butt or his tail. <laughs> And he plays some kind of music. I forget what it is. Probably the Bram's Lullaby or whatever it is. Anyways, she sold for sixteen nineteen. Well, he's blue. I guess it's a he. Uh, this door Explorer wasn't in the greatest condition. She is pretty big. She's 23 inches. But since it wasn't perfect or that great, you can see it's eh. I put her down some. Didn't want someone to get her and be disappointed because she wasn't in the greatest quality. You can see in the tag, it's worn off. And 
Anyways, uh, she sold for twenty six ninety nine, and actually had to shove her into, smash her into a padded flat. She barely made it. That thing was busting open. Uh, this is uh, Sweetie Pie Kids. Don't really sell many dolls, except for like Cabbage Patch dolls that I get that are stuffed in with the uh, plush. Don't really sell many dolls, but I looked up the comps. She wasn't doing too bad on the comps. As long as I can get like $12, $13 for dolls, I'll still put them up. This one I wound up getting uh, $15.29. Hello Kitty, this is a large Kuropi. Hello Kitty is um, taking off again. They're starting to sell, even overseas, way better than they have in the past. I've had hundreds of Hello Kitties in the past. I actually put up 100 Hello Kitties in one day, so I did have hundreds at one time and sold a bunch so far, uh, especially this year. This year I've sold probably a good 30 this year alone. So look out for Hello Kitty. If you can find some cheap, pick them up. Care Bears is another one. Care Bears, I just can't keep them on the shelf. Every time I list them, they sell like real fast. Uh, this one I put up I believe this same the same week it's sold and I had a huge bin of uh, Care Bears that were overflowing and this year um, they just started selling so keep your eye for Care Bears and Hello Kitty right now I wouldn't pay more than like a dollar a piece don't go crazy but this one still sold for uh, $19.99 here is a Disney Store Wreck-It Ralph. This is a Candlehead plush. This one actually has some scent on it. I forget what it smells like. <laughs> um, put her up, I believe, a week and a half ago. So yeah, a lot of plush that I've been I've been shoving up because you know I've been doing eight bags a a week since I'd done this uh, this Gaylord haul. Uh, I'm just shoving up as much plush as possible, but there it's turning out great. It's working out got $17.99 for her. This is a Mary Meyer uh, checkered bow. Yeah. <laughs> he's like all splattered on the floor. Look at him. He's pretty funny. <laughs> he's called a flip flops. Uh, all my flip flops sold like right away. As soon as I put them up within two weeks they were gone. Uh, had maybe six I would guess. Anyways he sold for $19.79. So keep your eye out for Mary Myers and Flip Flops. This one's real cool. I'm surprised this one took so long to sell. This one took probably a year and a half. You can see his face. This is a mandrel monkey. I love uh, apes like that. They're really cool. And you can see he's a WWF donation. He even has a blue butt. <laughs> he's a hilarious monkey. I said it. Took a while to sell, but I finally got $17.09 for him. Uh, two Teletubbies. This one, the music box was like ripped out, so I put made sure to say he doesn't sing or she. I don't know what the Teletubby is. <laughs> don't ask me. They have a plastic face. Anyways, uh, threw them both together because this one uh, the box was out of. Uh, threw them both together and sold for $15.29. Here is a Gans Webkins, another one that's sold pretty fast. Within, a, I believe, like two weeks that I put it up. This is a Border Collie. I said, make sure you tell the people what dog it is, because if they lose a dog and they're looking to uh, replace it, they're gonna look exactly because they know what their dog was. They're gonna look and look for exactly what their dog was, and if it's not in your title, they're not gonna find it. So make sure you have that in your title. So I always try to look up dogs or cats if they have a specific breed and put it in the title. And it works out for me. This is Meridia from Brave. Sold for $14.39. Another one I just put up. So Disney toys are selling. Just the plush in general is selling right now. I guess people are bored and they need to entertain their kids. This is a Cozy Hugs. I've talked about these before. These are microwavable toys. I believe this one you can freeze these too. I'm not sure. Never really had them. Other than to sell them. <laughs> but anyways, I got $17.99 for them. 
Berry the Berry. He's a plush strawberry from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Again, another one that sold within the week of me putting them up. So as soon as I'm, as fast as I can list them, guys, is as soon as they're selling. Uh, he sold for fourteen thirty nine. My Little Pony. I didn't know what to do with these guys. These were just tiny, not worth a lot on their own. But as a set, they are worth seventeen ninety nine. So I am very happy with that. This is Cole's Cares. If you give a dog a donut, there's a. If you give a mouse a cookie too. So <laughs> uh, there's several different Coles animals like that. Uh, he sold for seventeen ninety nine. All right, here's a Builder Bear Slimer plush with tags. I believe this was out the out of the last uh, haul I did last eight bags so he sold within two days of me putting them up he has a little hole in his tag from build a bear workshop and sold for 22.49 so not bad for a little thing that i paid maybe what 50 cents for this is a tomi pokemon pichu really cool in the back the black background i really like these on the black <laughs> I know some people are saying, nah, man, eBay likes it on white. I don't care what eBay likes. I like it on black. It looks cool. You can see what, look at how, how well that pops. I don't care what anybody says. That will not pop as well on a white background. But anyways, <laughs> get off my little soapbox. He sold for $13.49. Uh, another Care Bear, this is Cheer Bear. I uh, had him for a while, or her for a while. I should have raised the price since I know how the Care Bears are selling right now. But I didn't, and it sold for real cheap. <laughs> sold for twelve fifty nine. I should have gotten at least $15, maybe $17 for him. But whatever. I still sold it. Uh, this is a musical bear. It wouldn't shut up. <laughs> Every time I touch it, I'd accidentally touch her paw. It would just keep start singing it was the most annoying thing ever today <laughs> when i was mailing her off you can see her little like button lights up it's a girl like i said super annoying but <laughs> glad to see her go at 17.99 all right on to the great plush this one sold for 60 dollars don't pay attention to the price tag here it went overseas. Not sure why eBay charged them so much for shipping. Uh, it only cost me $10.99 to ship this. And eBay sh charged them a little over $60 total. So might have been a mistake in eBay, but they paid it. So I'm not worried about it. So that was the first of the ones that uh, one of the great sales this week. I made approximately $50 on this one little plush. Masha and the Bear. Uh, this one sold almost as soon as I put it up. They were marked lower on the on eBay when I checked the comps. A lot of people were selling for like $20. I put it up for almost $40 and it sold right away. So they chose mine over some of the lower price plush which is i'm happy see i actually did put it up at 40 i put it at 39.99 and since i had the 10 percent off sale it went down to 35.99 but yeah don't be afraid to put your prices higher than everybody else this is another monkey this is the one that sucks his thumb and he has a banana too <laughs> he's pretty funny look at it put it in his mouth some of them you can put him in his uh, nose it's pretty nasty but uh, this one just goes in the mouth. It has hard plastic feet and toes, so keep your eye out for these guys. Um, this one I got in a bag of, I believe there was like 10 monkeys that had hard plastic hands and feet. And got a bag, I paid uh, $2 for the bag, and what a great find. I mean, these monk, the other monkeys sold for around 20 something a piece. This one was uh, a little, a little older, vintage. Uh, this one's finally sold for $44.99. Alright, this is a Net Funicello limited edition. I, a mohair plush. Uh, I did this one in the haul I did a week, 
three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago. Anyways, um, finally found a home for it. <laughs> Sold for forty-four ninety-nine. You can feel the mohair. The mohair has a distinctive feel to it. In the video, I was like feeling it up. I'm like, what is this? But yeah, <laughs> it it wound up being mohair. This is a limited to ten thousand. It's 123 out of 10,000. His name is Le Pew. It's a Net Funicello from the Knickerbocker Company. So if you find any of these, hopefully you can find a bag of them. That would be awesome. They are worth $44.99 each. And last but not least, this is Harry Monster plus Sesame Street. He's a classic collectible character. You can see. Let me get a close-up. I got this one from Donna's Auction. She does a little auction show on YouTube. Her and T uh, do a little show like a few times a week. So if you want to catch her show, go on over, look her up. Uh, anyways, um, don't remember when I paid for the... I know I paid... F uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't remember what I paid her for. Anyways, um, yeah, that was a great find. Uh, I saw her, I saw that monster on the uh, on the auction. I'm like, oh, I gotta get that. I knew he was different. I didn't know how much he would cost. I but I knew he would go for over like forty dollars when I was uh, when I saw it on the auction because you you don't have time to look anything up. You just see something different, and if I see something different in an auction or something, I just like. Eh. Just buy it and hope for the best. Anyways, um, that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up, guys. Take care. See you probably Friday or Saturday for my next eight bags. <laughs> Alright, bye.